Oh, there we go. So my little makeup doing session, doing makeup? <laughs> Me doing my makeup um, stopped because Maddie arrived. So I just turned it off, but I am totally repping Tanya Burr Beauty today. I've got this eyeshadow palette on, which is Birthday Suit. And I also have the matte lip on, which is Martha Moo. Look how beautiful this color is. I love it. I feel like it looks slightly different on me than it does on Tarn. I don't know. Anyway, I have meetings this morning. I'm doing that thing where my hair really needs a wash, but I'm gonna pretend that it's absolutely fine. And I will just try and disguise the grease with dry shampoo. It's fine, don't worry about it. Right, I'm gonna take my laptop downstairs. And I need to have breakfast. I think I might make a smoothie. Also, look, I tidied my uh, makeup thingy yesterday and now look, like, it just becomes a mess so easily. Oh well, I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. I am, although I woke up with a headache, so I am gonna go and take a tablet because I hate that. I like downed a bottle of water as well, but that didn't work, so I think I pulled something in my neck in the night and now I've got a headache, so I could really do with a massage. Hint, hint, Alfie days. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a cinnamon roll smoothie, which is bananas, cinnamon, oats, almond milk, a bit of vanilla, and some honey, and some brown sugar. And it's supposed to have yogurt in it, but I don't have any yogurt. So we're doing it without yogurt, and with a bit of honey instead. about this. I can't drink this. <laughs> it's warm because it's got no like, well I mean it, it's got almond milk that's been in the fridge. But it's actually warm. I mean, but it's pure sugar. Yeah, it's really sugary. It's sugary. Do you want to try it? It's very sweet and I don't think I've got yeah, enough cinnamon in. No, <laughs> but you try it and that'll, that'll that cool. <laughs> it smells good. I mean, to be fair, it tastes nice. Mm. It's just very sweet. It is quite sweet. No, it's good. I think if it was cold, I would actually love that. Because I like so quite good. sweet. Oh, that your favorite thing? <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. That's yours now. You enjoy that. I think I would recommend ice. Yeah, I think ice and mm. something to make it less sweet. Maybe. maybe I shouldn't have put honey in. Maybe you should put either sugar or honey, yeah. not both. Mm, yeah. Mm. It's nice though. And I think a bit more cinnamon. Yeah. A smidgen more. Anyway, <laughs> experimental smoothie session done. Meeting is done. That was a long old meeting. It's now half past one. I feel really bad because on days like this, I don't feel like the vlogs are gonna be much fun, but I told myself I would film more even if my days weren't necessarily as fun and kind of carefree as uh, you or I might like them to be because there are gonna be days when I have to do meetings and as much as um, meetings take up a lot of time and they're not so great or entertaining for you guys to watch, they have to happen whether I like it or not because otherwise things don't get done. So if you haven't noticed already, meetings happen pretty regularly and that is a huge, huge part of my life. So. I am gonna document it even though it's not so fun but it's also really great for me to look back on because sometimes I can be like when did I have that meeting or I don't remember or when was that and actually I remember because I vlogged it or I vlogged the day can't actually vlog my meetings that would be slightly awkward that would be weird it would be like you were included in all the meetings am I allowed to say that I'm probably not allowed to say that it was a very exciting meeting I am gonna now edit my vlog I feel like I've edited most of it already and my camera battery is flashing so I need to be quick. Uh, Harry Potter is on. 
I love how the other day Alfie was like, you watch this at least like twice a week. And I was like, don't over exaggerate. But because I've now got into watching it and it's always on Sky, it's just a great bit of background noise. Are any of you similar to me in a sense that I can't do work in silence? I just can't do it. I have to have something on in the background. I feel like a creative mind never likes silence. Is that a quote? I don't know. My creative mind doesn't like silence. I much prefer when there's a bit of noise in the background or something happening behind behind me or around me. Even when I read, I kind of like to have music on or a film on. Even though I can't really pay full attention to it, it's quite comforting to know that there's some something else going on. So yeah, let me know if you're similar to me in that aspect. I always used to listen to tapes before going to bed when I was younger as well because silence before going to sleep is not fun. I'm not sure how I just got onto that ramble. Sorry. Can we just take a moment? Look at this dog. Look at you. Are you comfy? <laughs> Are you comfy? Look at her ears. Why are you doing that? Are you trying to make them love you? Is it because you know the camera's on you? You're trying to be all cute? You're trying to be all cute? I wish you could see what I could see right now. Look at this dog. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Oh, puppy. <laughs> You funny doggy. Hello. Hello. So I'm a very strong believer that negativity breeds negativity. If you surround yourself with negativity, you become a negative person. Which is why I think for me, over the years, I have really focused on the positive. I surround myself with positive people, positive influencers. I am inspired by positive people and I want whatever I put out into the world to have a positive effect on other people who also might need that. I guess this is something that I think about quite regularly because it's a huge, huge part of what I do. And it's also a question that gets brought up a lot whenever I do interviews with people, whenever I meet someone, whenever someone else is interested in becoming a YouTuber or doing something online, one of the main questions I get asked about is how do you deal with hate? And it actually makes me quite sad to say I feel like I've actually grown a really thick skin over the past two years definitely. Um, and that I've kind of got used to it. There really is nothing anyone could say to me that would affect me anymore in the way that it has previously. That's not to say that things people say don't still affect me in some way because some days I'll be having a really crappy day and someone might say something that really kind of sticks with me. But I feel like over the years I've really learned how to listen to something negative, read something negative, hold on to it for a couple of seconds, think about it, process it and drop it. And that is so hard. I have so many friends that also do this online and it makes me so sad in my heart to watch them struggling with this. I almost find it harder to watch it happen to someone else. That's just the sort of person I am. It just makes me so sad because I know those people really well. And even though you guys know a lot about me, you know a lot about my friends, you know a lot about your favorite YouTuber, you don't know everything. You don't know them like their family. You don't know them like their close friends. And really, even their friends and family don't know them to the extent that they really know themselves. And it's it's hard because when you see how hate affects people differently and it does no two people will react the same way to anything and i think a lot of people forget that you know just because someone might have a really large following doesn't automatically entitle somebody to 
have this opinion of them like i totally get that youtubers put their lives out there but there isn't this automatic rule that once you're a youtuber you've given up every right to not be criticized to not be hated on to not be stalked to not be trolled like that right does not automatically get taken away from you that's not like a rule that comes with youtube it's a rule that i think a lot of people justify with themselves to make themselves feel better about being mean the fact that someone has 5 million subscribers 10 million subscribers a hundred thousand subscribers 20 subscribers makes no difference on how you should treat them they are still a human being every single person you meet in the street whether they look like they've got their lives together or not have demons they have things that they are struggling with on a day-to-day -day basis whether they choose to share that online or whether they choose to keep that to themselves because that's the best way they can deal with it you don't know you really don't know you have to treat every single person with respect and you need to treat people like people it's it just it baffles me how some people just think that it's okay to be a certain way towards someone because they have a following because they share their lives online it's not a right that gets taken away from someone it's not your choice to decide whether or not you can say something like that oh but it's fine because they've got this many subscribers so they're open for criticism if someone asks for your criticism give it kindly you don't have to be a mean person if someone doesn't ask for your criticism respect that to be able to film your life and put videos online is a life adjustment there are so many things that people have to learn and deal with on youtube and i just feel like having watched so many of my friends dealing with certain aspects of online negativity makes me sad that it's still a thing and that people still think that it's okay to treat other human beings who they really don't know the ins and outs of. You don't know their past, you don't know the things they might be dealing with that they might not be sharing. Have some compassion. I have completely come to terms with haters and trolls and like I said, there's really not a lot you can say to me that will affect me in the same way that it might have done two, three, even six years ago. But it's sad that it still happens. You know, it's it's sad that there are still people out there that enjoy that, like it's entertainment for them. Those people aren't happy and that, that too genuinely makes me sad because I just wish I could do something to make their lives better because these people aren't happy and you need to remember that. You need to, as much as I think trolls need to, I say trolls, but it's not always trolls. As much as I think some people need to remember that people with a following, celebrities, anyone who has decided to give a little part of their lives to others, to make others smile, they need to remember that we're humans. But we also need to remember that these people are human too. They have issues too. And they may not be going about it in the right way, but for them, that's all they can think to do you know i don't know i've just been thinking a lot about it and it just it genuinely makes me sad that sad people are making other people who weren't sad sad and that's a lot of negativity in a world that's already very negative i think for any of you that are struggling at the moment with online hate or even real life hate you know bullying is a thing whether it's online or offline you have to remember that these people don't genuinely know you at your core. They just don't. And you can't waste too much of your emotion on these negative people because it's not worth it. I used to get so affected by it and then I would get really annoyed at myself that I've let a stranger who doesn't know me, who is judging me, who is angry and upset at the world, I've let them inflict negativity upon me and and it's not really worth it because those people aren't worth my emotions, you know? I don't know. I just hate seeing how it affects people and I've had multiple friends who I've had to watch 
get so affected by this but still carry on uploading videos still carry on because at the end of the day it's the people that are so positive the people that take away something from youtubers and bloggers or any other social media people or celebrities there are people that take things away from you that make their lives better and you just have to remember that there are so many people out there who will watch your videos read your blog posts read your books read they they invest so much of their time in you for the positive and you have to remember those people whose lives you're affecting for the better you can't focus on the negative you just can't and although it feels like sometimes there's no light at the end of the tunnel and there's no way you're going to ever be able to do it again i once got to a point where i thought i can't do this i enjoyed making youtube videos and i loved making people happy but this is intense you know no, nothing in life can set you up for stuff like that nothing and it's sad that the only way i can really see past it is because i feel like i've read everything i could possibly read you know it's like i've become immune to it almost and i just don't know if that's a good thing or not i don't know there's that saying that um if you paint an entire wall and you get one bit wrong like you, you've painted this beautiful wall and you've and you've got a little chip of paint in the middle every time you walk past that wall you'll see the chip of paint and know that that wall is not perfect and i feel that's what happens with negativity is there's that one little bit that can really ruin the rest of the amazingness that's around it and it is really really hard it, it is hard but i commend those of you that receive online hate and go through the negativity but still continue to do what you love for the people who love what you do and i just feel like it's 2016 now like can we not make this the year of positivity if you don't agree with something that someone's saying or you don't agree with someone's lifestyle or you don't agree with something that's okay like that's absolutely fine there are things i don't agree with all the time the only difference is that i don't surround myself with that if i don't like something I don't have time for that, you know? I just wish everyone felt that way, but it's just not as simple as that. Anyway, where's Alfie? <coughs> oh shit, my vlog was supposed to go live nine minutes ago. Uh-oh, I got carried away. I got carried away. Oh, hi, my boyfriend's just come to pick me up. What's going, <laughs> on, a, what's going on a cute date? Alfie rang me, he's like, I'm outside. I was like, I feel like you're taking me on a date. I love oh, it. Yeah, we're going on the date, because you've uh, never picked me up to take me somewhere like that before. Oh well, yeah, but I drive you somewhere all the time. I yeah, but not like you when up. you've like picked me up and I've like got in and been like, oh hi, <laughs> how was your day? Well, like a normal oh, couple. We live together. Yeah, I know, but I haven't seen you all day, and it was just it felt like so like I don't know. <laughs> we're pushing the boat out on this date. Where are we going? In the rain. Have you not even told them yet? I don't think I have. It's blooming sexy. <laughs> it's a proper romantic day. Have you told them? No, I'm leaving it up to you. We're going to Pets World. <laughs> it's not Pets World. Why do you it's and your mum call it Pets World? Same blooming thing. Pets isn't it? at home. Come on, car in front of me. Um. Yeah. Pets at home. Hotter than hell. What's that song about rain down the window? Rain down the window, rainy, rainy, rain. That one? No. Oh, that was the one I just made up. That's probably why you didn't know it. Um. Ooh, what's that? It's raining on my window. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, 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 what's that? It's raining on my window. <laughs> that one? <laughs> no, isn't it? Tears on the ground. Then I'm rain on my window if I let it down. Oh, it could actually be. You. Is that the one? I don't know. It's rain, rain on, on my window, window in the lyrics. You know I I'm gonna know have to check. Is. Try to put it on. Yeah. Wait. Tears on my pillow. Wait, you won't no, bring me wait. down. Wait. Yeah, that's all I wanted. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Okay. 
you have that one. Yes. I have the best memory in the world. You forget this. We still haven't gone into Pet's home. This is what happens when your boyfriend is a workaholic. You have to sit and wait for him to reply to all his emails before you can go and look at guinea pigs. I've got one more to reply to. <laughs> and then it's going to be our cute date. It's going to be so... I've got candles in there waiting and everything. <laughs> look at you, like, already, subtly already turning your phone so I definitely can't see it on my camera. <laughs> I can't leak what future stuff I'm planning. <laughs> I just love that I was sat here listening to him going, like, tap, 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 like... Oh. I don't think you would be able to date someone who wasn't a YouTuber. They would not stay with you. They would. They because wouldn't. I'm so caring, loving, kind, sweet, cute, romantic. All of that. Mm. My little person on Pokemon moved to the wrong spot, started walking, even though I was sitting down and getting my hair cut. Right. And then a, a sick Pokemon appeared that I haven't got. Really, really rare one. I was like, oh my god, look at this! In the hairdresser, shouted. Yeah? And then it went, boom, and jumped me back to where I was meant to be and disappeared. What was the Pokemon? I don't know. Oh. Never got him. So as soon as I finished my haircut, promise you, <laughs> I walked. I didn't want to run it, so it was I walked as fast as I could to the location and it wasn't there. A bit of a, like, power walk. Yeah, I was just, like, <laughs> briskly walking and the Pokemon wasn't there. It was so embarrassing. I've not done any Pokemon today. A bit sad we about need that. need to... Get on it. I know. Right, let's go. Can we go now? You check that Pokemon jam. Can we go now? Alfie. This is not true. Oh. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Should we go get some Pokemon now? No, let's go to pets at home. Yeah, they probably sell them pets at home. No. They've got like Rattatas oh, there. It's so Miserable. They've literally got Rattatas, Golk. Uh, Rattata. <laughs> Rattata. Wait, when were we saying that? And I was no, laughing. You were you, saying that. And you were like, that's not funny. I haven't even got a jumper with me. Rattata. Okay, should we go into Toys R Us then? Yeah, where's my handbag? Are we going to Toys R Us? No, we're going to Pets at Home. Let's go. You get out and then I'm just going to press the lock you button. You dare. I'm going to. You dare. Look at the bunnies. <laughs> oh, what are they sat on what top of the hay? Definitely a 12. That is definitely a Guys, this is a problem you often encounter in um, pets at home. Lots of little wee wee patches in corners. <laughs> Look, <laughs> lots of these. Caution, wet floor. <laughs> Someone's done a pee. Um, yeah, lots of doggy scents that other doggies want to cover up, so there's always lots of pee, so be wary. Right, I need a. Uh, Oh, this one is like huge. Oh no, they don't have any. I need a medium. Oh, poor guineas, they won't get one. Um, they probably won't fit in this. Oh, they might do. My guinea pigs love these honey sticks and fruit sticks. And let's have a look. What else have we got? Popcorn sticks. Cute. Let's get them these. I've lost Alfie. Where is he? He's gone off. Oh, there he is. Look. Oh, his mate's, oh, his mate's joining in. Oh, he dropped it. Why are they so cute? Oh, it scared him. Oh, look at him sitting on the edge, sorry. <laughs> Oh. I ended up getting this for the guinea pigs. A little house. Oh my God, it's like they know. <laughs> Can you hear them? But what I need to do is take off the middle section so I can put it in there. Might need your help, Alfie. This is where I fall into the guinea pig cage. Oh. I need to get that tunnel out. Can we to get it? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! They love it.
Zizis. From like a half an hour drive away. That yeah, long, that did that, that did take a while, guys. Dedication. <sighs> We're here though. It's and it so worth it. And it's still warm. Yeah. yeah. It's home, so. Savage. Pizza is happening. We've got pizza. And I'm right excited about it. Right. Oh, I've smudged all my eye makeup. Okay, so even though, looks like I've got black eye. Promise you I haven't. Even though it's quarter to midnight. Oh my God, I look like I'm going ghost hunting. <laughs> Jokes. Even though it's quarter to midnight, I just told Poppy that I was gonna run her a bath because Poppy and Sean are just gonna stay here tonight because we have a guest room and it's late. And why not? I mean, they only live around the corner, but it doesn't matter. It's way more fun this way. So, I'm gonna run her a bath. And you guys know how much I love running people a bath. I would go as far as to say it's one of my hostess qualities. <laughs> So what should we put in Poppy's bar? Let's put him in. Yeah. Actually, bath oil. Mm. I might do a bath oil, because I've got some really nice ones. What's this one? Support. I wonder if there's like a sleep one. Deep relax, let's do that. And I might also sprinkle a few. Himalayan detox salts. The bath is all run. Got some candles. Oh, it's very relaxing. Little bit of bubbles, but it mostly smells like a spa in here now because I used an aromatherapy associate's relaxing oil. So, I will go and get Poppy now. Poppy's had her bath, so it's my turn to run a bath now. She did say it was the best bath she's ever had. So I'll get that in writing, pop it in my little testimonials. I'm joking, I don't have testimonials and I don't have a guest book. <laughs> it would be quite funny if I did though. I had like a guest book for my house. I do have a bathroom guest book. That would be so fun to go through in a vlog. It's so funny. Some of the stuff that's in there is hilarious, right? Oh, also I went on YouTube and I typed in spa music. So we're listening to a bit of My aim is to have the best night's sleep ever. I've just had my bath. I feel so relaxed. I definitely need to take my makeup off. I feel so much more relaxed. And I'm ready for a good night's sleep. So that, my friends, is where I'm going to end the video. I hope you've had an amazing day. I love you very much. And I will see you again soon.